Hello, and thank you for watching another adventure of Telco Steve's Workbench. Today we have for you a white, color white, 558 FM model telephone from Western Electric. It is a rotary dial pulse signaling telephone. If you want to call somebody, you just do this long arduous process of dialing on the finger wheel the phone number you want. The finger wheel has 213-467-3111 which is a phone number at that time 213 area code from Hollywood, California. The uh, phone is a two-line phone. It is one, one of the first, one of the first of many two-line phones at the time. And what I mean by that is it has a line key here that when it's up and down, it's on line one, vertical. Up and down in this universe, vertical. When it's in horizontal position by twisting it clockwise, then it is on line two. To go back to line one, you twist it counterclockwise. And why do I say these things? It's because I don't know if everybody out there in internet land really understands count clockwise and counterclockwise. Sorry. I, you know, we have to be... We have to understand, everyone, that not everybody understands those terms, so be patient. The phone is a hardwired telephone, meaning it has a wire that's coming off the back of it that goes down to your telephone jack. And it has a modular cord on it. If you need an extension, go get a barrel extension at your local hardware store and a longer line cord, and you'll be there. I didn't put that on this phone. I usually do, but not on this one. Um, I'm really jammed for time. The phone also has a switch at the top. And what the switch does is when you're talking and everything's good, you lift it up and it mutes the transmitter. And when you hang it up, it automatically goes down so that now the phone functions normally. Why I did that to, to that switch called an exclusion switch at the time is because at the time the exclusion switch was used with the local KTS key telephone system equipment to provide signaling, a light uh, ANA1 signaling honestly, to a lamp and a lamp ground and KTS equipment that would light the light showing that other people within the same business on the line that it had that it was in use. That was the purpose of the exclusion key. Now, why I know it's an exclusion key is because this phone was looked at in reference to the BSP Bell System practice of 1979 of 502-531-410 being 558F telephone set connections wired for two-line pickup with exclusion. So, I wired it to simply just cut the transmitter off so that you can monitor the I mean, oh, I'm sorry, so that people can't hear you when you're talking on the phone. What else is there really to say about this phone? It's got clear call quality to it. It sounds good. Um, everything... And it, the bell does have a loud and a, and a soft. That's soft. That's loud. Hello? Hey John, hey John, hang on a second. I get tired of you calling me all the time, John. Did you hear me? Yeah, I had you on, on, on mute for a second there. I, I'm making a video, so I gotta go, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. So that was John, and uh, he was calling. And uh, as you can see, the bell does work really great. Now the bell is on line one, okay? So in order to uh, accommodate line two, um, and line one is red and green off of the modular cord, line two is yellow black off of the modular line cord, so you have to wire up your mod cord accordingly to two line service, okay? You should be able to find a competent telephone person to do that. It's not a hard, difficult thing to do. So what I did is that for line two, I installed a tweeter into the unit. And it, there it is. That's as loud as it gets. 
This is the tweeter that was installed right up there. That's on line two. Notice it's in position line one. When I answer, until I go to the line two, hi. Yes, I went to line two. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so line two has dial tone. And um, and that's how that works. So we have the bell for line one, a tweeter for line two. Get here. And that was wired not according to bell system practices. That was wired according to my system practices. I know what I'm doing in the phone business. I've been a phone uh, technician for many, 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 many years, and I've worked in many different scenarios and on a varied amount of equipment so um, I was able to do that and that gives you the capability of understanding which phone line is ringing should you have two lines on this phone if the bell is used for both lines from that's how they did it from the factory by the way it came that way well how would you know which line is ringing line one or line two so I simply added the tweeter if you don't like it Take it out, okay? This phone also has a modular line, uh, modular cord to it, handset cord, and that handset cord is fairly long, and it stretches out 20 feet away, easy. Well, that's stretched right there on the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah. Now I got dial tone. I'm just was talking to dial tone at this point. So. That's the uh, phone, and that's the. Hopefully, I covered all of the bases on it. You must have rotary pulse dial tone service from your local provider. Some voice services, if not all of them, will not support rotary in devices, meaning a rotary telephone at the end of the line in your house. So, sorry about that, but I have no control over technology and the stupid antics that go along with it, such as not supporting pulse rotary dialing. Okay, so I want to thank you for watching another rousing adventure of Toko Steve's workbench, and I bid you a fine day.